Hey Cebu Cloud users! So in the last video I felt pretty bad because uh, if you remember we had to extract a log entry from the Gimlet dashboard and that log entry was at the very beginning of the logs when after startup and you know we were forcing a restart on the Gimlet dashboard to extract a line from, from the logs and uh, you know it's not really handy to use kubectl for logs and it's very common to use an aggregated log solution like uh, Grafana Loki or uh, the Elasticsearch based uh, stack to store all container logs and provide you querying possibilities and even uh, metrics and alerts on those logs. So in this video uh, what we are going to do is that we continue to build our uh, platform uh, with Grafana Loki uh, aggregated logging solution and we are going to back it with GitOps as we usually do. So, so let's get started. So I am looking at uh, the Gimlet dashboard again. Uh, I have the production environment uh, backed by a Git repository in the dash infra repo we keep emls for infrastructure pieces prometheus and so forth and as you can as you if you remember prometheus we enabled last time and this time around we are going to enable loki and uh, there are a few basic options that you can uh, uh, set here uh, retention is, is quite interesting like how long history you want to to keep in the loki database whether you want to persistence uh, uh, persistent volume or not. For this demo I'm just enabling Loki, keeping 10 days of retention and I will not enable the, the, the persistence. Basically if I restart Loki uh, it will lose all uh, log history but it's fine for this demo. There are some other options as well here. Uh, besides volume storage you could pick an S3 based storage which, which is pretty interesting. So you don't rely on uh, volume based storage but you can back Loki with a regular S3 bucket and your logs will be loaded from there. It's pretty neat. I think I'm going to make a video on just on that one in the near future. So again, I enable Loki. Uh, I pick volume storage uh, for 10 days uh, retention, but it's not going to be a persistent uh, volume. Cool, so I think that's it for now uh, with configuration. And again, if I save the component list, Gimlet dashboard makes a commit to the GitOps repository. And if we look at the commit history of this repo, you can see that 10 seconds ago, a bunch of stuff were added. Uh, there is the Loki Helm release uh, with some configuration. The Loki config is actually quite uh, verbose. So this is coming from Gimlet uh, itself. So Gimlet stack has, has, the, has you covered on this regard. And uh, Promptail is also installed because, not, uh, because this is what, what is shipping the metrics uh, to, to Loki from your cluster and some Grafana dashboard as well added. And I think Grafana itself as well. So if you enable Loki, then you will get uh, a Grafana installation as well. And uh, we have not talked about this so far, but basically the configuration that you see here, the enabled components, the configuration and so forth is actually stored in your Git uh, repo too. It's called stack YAML. It's a very straightforward uh, YAML based format. So actually uh, using the dashboard is quite neat and, and useful, but you could manage all this from files and actually there's a CLI for it. So it's if you type Gimlet stack, uh, in the Gimlet CLI, then you can do all the same as on the on the dashboard. So cool, uh, we have this commit and what you expect typically is that with GitOps every commit goes on the cluster. So if I head on my head, head to my terminal and switch to the production cluster, I should see Loki starting up. As you can see, uh, the Loki pod has started up 83 seconds ago. We have Promptail as well running. And I think we have Grafana because uh, previously we enabled Prometheus. So we have the Grafana uh, running. Uh, now I do have an ingress in the infrastructure name space, sorry. Uh, ingress in the infrastructure namespace. 
No, I actually do do not because I I don't really have an ingress ingress control controller just yet. So if I enable nginx or the SIBO based traffic ingress con controller, then I would have an ingress uh, defined. But uh, with this production environment, we've been doing port forwarding so far. So let's forward the port again uh, for Grafana, and it's running now on port eight eight eight. Here we go. And again, to obtain uh, the password for Grafana, uh, the Gimlet dashboard has you covered. Uh, print the password again and re enable port forwarding. Here we go. User is admin, and the password is what I have copied. And we can double check and verify that we have Loki as a data source enabled. Yes, it is there. The test returns green, so we have Loki. And uh, you can explore Loki from the explore view, or Gimlet dashboard actually provides you uh, a logs uh, dashboard with the log volume and some basic filtering, but more on that soon in another video. So thank you.